started. We're going to videotape it so that we can put it on the, the Facebook page so the people that didn't get to be here today can still have a general idea of what we're going to do. Uh, if you did not come to the last one that was 12 weeks ago, essentially this is kind of one of those uh, events or events or <coughs> classes or clinics, whatever you want to call it, where we explain the next round of programming. We do some of the new stuff. Uh, you can ask questions. We have a lot of coaches here to, to help out. So you kind of get a foothold of what's coming in the next 11 weeks. So the last one was 12 weeks. And for those of you that participated or followed the Open, you can see that a lot of time and effort was put into making sure that the movements that you were doing coincided with the Open. I mean, if you saw those workouts and, and uh, or you followed it at all or you did them, you could see that that programming that we did leading up to it was almost spot on with what we were trying to get you guys to do. We also take a step back and we, we think of things that our box is lacking uh, in, in a general sense. Like, what do we need to work on in, as a box overall? So we sit down, we come up with an idea. Typically, they're broken down into 11 weeks, 12 weeks, 10 weeks, depending upon how these phases are falling in. So the next 11 weeks, uh, before we get into that, two quick announcements. One, um, our back to basic training. A lot of you have signed up. If you haven't signed up, the early bird registration of B2BT ends tomorrow. So we're trying to get as many people signed up for this. For those of you that have not been here in years past, did not do this last year, it is our box's biggest event. It's our way of giving back to wounded veterans, uh, the organization that we chose this year, the Semper Fi America's Fund, gives 94 cents of every dollar that's raised back to the, to the uh, wounded vets. So, great organization. What we need people to do, I, I don't necessarily, I know that when you look at these workouts, sometimes they can be daunting. If you do the push-ups from your knees, if you use bands for pull-ups, if you do it in a partnership or a team, we want you to come and have fun. There are going to be about 10% of people that are going to come here and they're going to go all out, they're going to do RX, they're going to throw a weighted vest on. That's awesome. We want those people too. But we don't want to stop those people that are like, I can't do 100 pull-ups, I can't do 200 push-ups. We will find a way for you to do it. That's not the point of that. The point of that is not to like kill you on event day, uh, unless you want to be killed. Uh, the point is to raise some money. And the only way we can do that is through your help. Signing up, coming and doing the event, talking it up, and then... Um, with that, you can get a URL, which helps us raise more money. That's just something that you can send out to friends and family, letting them know, hey, I'm doing this event. It's like a GoFundMe page, and so to speak. So my goal is 30,000. Right now, we're really far away from that. So uh, help me out. Anyway, so that's that. Speaking of that, I, I said it at the beginning, but some of you might not have been here. Most people don't listen anyway. But we're selling those RX bars. It's going to be a drop in the bucket by the time it's all said and done, but it was one more way to try to raise a few funds, and that's, they're $2 a bar, it's on the honor system, um, we'll have a little drop box, and even if you do like write an IOU, because you're not carrying cash, again, it's on the honor system, it's for charity. If you need that RX bar more than we need the $2, then it is what it is, so. They donated this. Yeah, all right, sorry. So, yeah, so basically, don't, the RX bar is helping us out. So the next 11 weeks, these are, this is kind of a snapshot. It's written a little bit more uh, lengthy in this because so, you can take this home, read it over if you want to. But anyway, the next 11 weeks is separated into two phases. So one of those phases is the foundation or the intro because we are introducing a new repetition scheme. This repetition scheme overall, in general, what we're trying to do with that is build hypertrophy, which is build muscle strength, muscle mass. For the women in here that are like, I don't want to do that, unless you start ingesting a bunch of testosterone, you're probably not going to get big and bulky just from an 11-week cycle of 5-3-1, okay? Unless you just have that in your body to begin with. We are also going to do in our Metcon, so we had saw some people that, that, that want a few increased, uh, so increased uh, time their Metcon, so meaning longer duration Metcon, so increasing aerobic capacity. This will also lead into that MRF training, because MRF, if you are doing MRF, is like a 30 to 60 minute Metcon, so it's a long one, so we got to get you used to doing longer Metcons. So increasing aerobic capacity, uh, learning the movements and the repetition scheme for this, and what was I going to say with that? Did I miss, there's something I was missing. 
Did I cover everything? What well, uh, phase one. Uh, phase two is definitely, since now that we've learned that repetition scheme, we're getting in the groove and into the grind. We're really starting to get that hypertrophy up. Um, this will be, phase two will happen after Murph, so after the June 4th event, and now we can start increasing anaerobic capacity. So the Metcons will go back down to being shorter, more intense type of Metcons. So that is the overall idea over the, over the next 11 weeks. The other thing too you'll notice, and we'll talk about it more when we get all the way down here to Wattify, is that you are gonna have, instead of it being like a two week or three week period of all the testing is done and crammed into that, we're gonna uh, spread it out more throughout the 11 weeks. So you'll have more chances to test out in one rep maxes and our uh, lady watts, so to speak, or our PR watts. That's probably a better way of saying it, because not all of them are ladies. Um, anything else on that? Okay, so moving on. We introduced level one and level two, the last set of programming. We're gonna keep going with that, um, mostly with two exercises. So we noticed that some people that, that are really still struggling or still working on form with the squat snatch or the squat clean are not really getting a lot of strength. I, oh yeah, I remember, I remember. So, uh, sorry, I just get like that sometimes. So, with, um, with this, we're also gonna do a day of two Metcons, a double Metcon. So on one of the days of programming, we're taking out a strength and it will be a double Metcon, especially during the first phase, okay? So that's, I remember that while we were talking about the strength. So a lot of times with that strength, if you're still working on technique, you're not really getting the whole benefit of the strength portion of squat snatch or, or cleans. So level one, if you're still working on that, we still want you to work on form, but in order to get, yes? What's, a, what's Metcon? So Met, Metcon is short for metabolic conditioning. So when we break our programming, we have our warm up, our accessory work, our strength, our skill work, and then what, what's listed on the board, it says WAD, workout of the day. Uh, but really, I mean, the whole thing is the WAD. The Metcon, the metabolic conditioning, that go, go, go type of workout, that is what Metcon means. So good question. Um, so, this, uh, so I still want you working on technique and working on form, but as far as the strength goes, level one, instead of doing a uh, squat clean, you're going to do front squats in order to get the to get that uh, the strength up, to get your the muscle hypertrophy up. And instead of the squat snatch, what you're going to work on is overhead squats and a single arm dumbbell snatch. Single arm dumbbell snatch is a little easier on the form, it's a little easier to learn, and that way you can, uh, in general, use a little bit more weight in order to get that up. So we will go over those two things. I just want to do kind of an overview right now, but those two things we are, are going to go over. Um, I know you guys have been doing most of your warm up and activation on your own. We're going to switch up some of the activation. The warm up, as far as like getting your body temperature up and your heart rate up, so rowing, running, jumping rope, we still want you to do that prior to class because we're not going to spend a ton of time on that. But we do have some more activation, some newer stuff that we're going to introduce. Uh, so that we are going to go back to the activation being part of the class that everyone's going to do together. Um, the idea behind the activation again, and I can't stress this enough, in CrossFit we, we use a lot of joints um, in a lot of different range of motion and a lot of planes and with very heavy weights and very, uh, very large repetition schemes. So the activation is in order to get those joints stable that we use a lot. So that's <coughs> shoulders is the big one. So you'll see a lot of shoulder stabilization stuff and our hips. So those two joint complexes are what we use a ton of and you'll see a lot of the activation um, uh, really honing in on those two joints specifically. Uh, and then some new ideas, new concepts. We, as coaches, we sat down and we said, what new things can we kind of bring to the table to kind of keep people interested, keep the community going. Um, one thing is the, a half hour barbell fundamentals class. So we tried the whole barbell club, barbell clinic. It went over okay, but we want more people to get involved. So we're gonna reduce the amount of time because the hour was quite a bit. 
We were reducing the amount of time to a half hour. You're strictly going to work on cleans and snatches in this barbell fundamentals. Uh, it's included in your membership, so if you have unlimited, it's, you can come to it. It's on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 5, 5.30, 6, and 6.30. So every half hour will be uh, a new class starting. So this is only a month long and we'll see how it goes. So it'll be pretty much starting Monday, or starting this Tuesday for four weeks. We'll see how it goes. See how many people we can get in to start becoming better at their bar movements. Yeah. Is there gonna be a class limit size? Yes, because we're still trying, I, I could play around with this, but we talked and four people seems to be, or no, five people, I'm sorry, five people seems to be small enough that uh, one coach can get a lot of hands on with that one, with, uh, with that group, yeah. Um, would you prefer then to do that before or after the class? That's a good question. So you can do it either, and that, the way that we have it set up, we kind of thought about that too. You can do it either way. I mean, it's gonna be a really good warm up going into your WAD, your class, and it can be kind of a, I wouldn't call it a cool down, but um, it kind of works in conjunction with post. It's not gonna be so taxing that after your workout, you're just not gonna have anything left. So, that's a good question. Is this gonna be a mind and body? It is on mind body right now, yeah. So please sign up on mind body. It, it, it should be live, if it's not, then somebody let me know. Was that your question too? Yeah. Uh, we did want to get rid of, so what, the momentum that we had going with the, the other barbell club clinic, we didn't want to lose that momentum that we had started, but we wanted to be able to have it a little bit more individualized. So some people are really wanting to learn Olympic lifts, some people really want to learn the mindset of how to attack a watt, strategies on how to attack a watt. Maybe it's ring dips, maybe it's rope climbs, Olympic lifting, maybe it's a strength aspect that you're really just not getting. You're, you're close, but maybe you're not getting it. So we're gonna introduce VIP training. So VIP training is Voltus Individual Performance Training. So essentially it's one-on-one. -on -one. It's you and a coach working on whatever it is that you want. And we were able to get the pricing down to this to three one-on-one -on -one sessions for $99. So that's well below even our personal training rates here at the club. <clears throat> and then the other third and final thing is a trial of Wattify. James has kind of been talking to some people about it. Essentially what Wattify does is it replaces that uh, leaderboard. It replaces everything we did on this whiteboard. It replaces the PR board. Uh, it replaces even our Facebook posts. Our binders. So every, the binders. It replaces our binders. How many of you still use your binder? Two? Three? Okay. So it replaces all of that, uh, and all of that's accessible through your phone. And so he's going to spend about 20 minutes like that.